So this is going to be another approach to how you can add custom relationship fields uh, to a relationship between two modules. And uh, the idea here is very simple. So you have, for example, the unit here, IL-27, and there's a unit IL-28, and you have the same broker assigned to this unit. But I want this broker to have different commissions. So when we click on the um, on this broker inside one of the real estate units, the commission is the bonus is 1000. But when we click on the same broker's commission to modify it for a different unit, the, 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 the commission is going to be 500. There's already a video that explains how to do it. It's um, I think the problem with that video is that there's a lot of custom coding to make things work, like adding custom JavaScript just to make this workable, like this date picker. It's also not upgrade safe. Uh, but the advantage of that is that you're using like the strictly built-in method of adding fields to the relationship table. So that is nice, but I think those two problems is that a lot of this custom coding that takes place and it not being upgrade safe is a big problem. So this is going to be a workaround. It's going to be a three-part tutorial. The first one is just this overview that we're seeing here. I'm explaining what is going to be done. The second one is uh, how we can uh, connect the two of them, so how we connect the two modules uh, together and allow them to have this custom field that changes, right? And then in the third part, we'll see how we can make it editable by the end user. So if that's something that you require for the end user to be able to edit it, you'll see it in part three. So stay tuned, it's going to be very interesting. We'll take a look at uh, how to modify, how to perform very useful modifications inside the system that you'll find useful, so how we can edit this edit button, for example, how we can add a custom field to your sub panel also, and how you can create like a custom sub panel uh, files is just some of the things that you learned in this tutorial. So stay tuned and uh, thank you for watching.